Let's talk about the different ways that we can express a tax rate. First of all, we can express a tax rate as a decimal. We had an earlier problem where the tax rate was 0.559. All right, that's one way to express the tax rate. Now, to change a decimal to a percent, what do we do? We just move the decimal two places to the right and stick a percent sign after it. So as a percent, this is 5.59%, isn't it? Now, if we had a particular problem where the market value were 90,000, the assessment rate were 30%, which is a pretty standard assessment rate, then we'd have an assessed value of 30% times 90,000. Everybody get 27,000 for that? And then if our tax rate were 0 0.0559 or 5.59%, we could multiply either one of those things times 27,000 to get the property tax for the year, couldn't we? So try multiplying 0 0.0559 times this, and then multiply 5.59% times that, and we should get the same answer. That's somewhere between one and two thousand. Fifteen oh nine thirty. Does that sound right? I'm seeing nods, so I'm assuming that's correct. Fifteen oh nine thirty. Oops. I'm sorry. That's the actual tax, isn't it? The tax rate is zero point zero five five nine. And was that fifteen oh nine thirty? Is that right? Okay. So that's our property tax. That's annual. That's how much we pay every year. And this property tax goes for schools, um, fire and police, library, public services, that sort of thing. And this is why property taxes are higher in some places than others. The more desirable a location is, the more people want to live there, supply and demand says, the property tax will be higher. The more people don't want to live there, the property tax will probably be lower. And oftentimes that's tied to a school system that, it, that if you live in that area, you go to that school. So if there's a school that everybody wants to go to, the property values go up, the tax go up, and the tax rates can go up as well. Okay, so we have a decimal, a percent. There's another way this is expressed. This would be per hundred dollars of assessed value. If we said, what's your cost per hundred dollars of assessed value? Well, percent means per hundred, doesn't it? So if we're paying 5.59 percent, we're paying five dollars and fifty-nine cents on every hundred dollars. So to, to convert from percentage to per hundred dollars, it's really the exact same numerical value we just drop the percent sign and stick a dollar sign on the front of it. Okay, so 5.59% is the same as this decimal, and that's the same as saying we're going to pay $5.59 per $100. All right? Now, what about per thousand? Well, if we're paying little over five dollars for every hundred dollars. If we multiply this by ten, how much would we have to pay per thousand? We'd have to multiply this by ten, wouldn't we? And how do we multiply something by ten? What do we do with the decimal? We move it over one place to the right, which is the same as adding a zero at the, or multiplying by ten. So we move the decimal one place to the right, and we get 5590 per thousand dollars. Now this is all exactly the same tax rate. We're just expressing it in different ways. And the reason I'm showing you these conversions is because we normally express tax rates in mills. In mills. Anybody ever hear of a millage election where they're asking voters to approve an increase of so many mills in the property tax rate? Well, mill comes from 
the prefixes, how many meters, I'm sorry, how many millimeters are in a meter? How many milligrams are in a gram? It's a thousand. Okay, so milli means one thousandth. A mill is actually one thousandth of a dollar. That's a mill, is a thousandth of a dollar. What's a penny? It's a hundredth of a dollar. So this is a tenth of a cent. Anybody ever see one of those store coupons that says cash value one tenth of one percent? I'm sorry, one tenth of a cent? Well, that means it's worth one mil. All right, worth a tenth of a cent. So property tax rates are expressed in mills. And basically, since mills means divide by a thousand, all we have to do is drop the dollar sign on this. This becomes 55.90 mills. So this, if you're paying five, five and a half percent, you're paying 55 mills. Okay. So all these numbers mean exactly the same thing. And there are some exercises in the book where they say use this one and do it, but I want to make sure you know how to do mills. So let's figure this out. Let's say we had an assessed value of $27,000. We'll use our same number. We had an assessed value of $27,000 and the tax rate were 55.90 mills. We normally take it to two decimal places on the mills. Well, there's a formula in the book that says to find the tax, you take the assessed value and you multiply it times the mills and then you divide that by a thousand since mills means per thousand. But another way of dividing by a thousand is multiplying by 0 .001. That's how they put it in the book. But that's the same as dividing by a thousand. So let's try this. Let's punch in 27,000 for our assessed value times 55.90 and then divide that by a thousand and that should give us this exact same number. Does that work? Okay, so it's, it's assessed value times mills divided by a thousand. The book writes it this way because if you multiply by one thousandth, you're, that's the same as dividing by a thousand. Okay, so everybody should get that 150930.